Excellent. I just dropped the bomb on uh, Dave. He's talking about his power armor. I let him know he's definitely going to die tonight in the power armor. I'll die with an erection. That's, that's, all that's, that's how the game wraps up, right? This is going to be the last episode of the one-shots. <laughs> Mega finally dies. gets his fucking power armor, and then he dies. <laughs> the only person that lives is the Count. Who hops, like, pulls your dead body out of the power armor, takes it over. Yeah, but then he's like, what's the password? And he's like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just hacks that shit. He's like, Mako? And he's like, congratulations, welcome to the power armor. Butts. And he's like, god damn it. I got in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? In the butt? What, what? In the what? butt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if that's the power state, I'd be naked too. Exactly. You would strip down to rub your junk all up in the inside of that motherfucker. Just saying. I, I still have and to that's log That's the 40-year-old model, right? Because, I mean, nowadays they have so much better stuff. Oh, bullshit. It's like when you get old muscle cars, man. They look fucking rad. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you get uh, Midshipman Chambers on the line. He's like, this is Midshipman Chambers. Can I help you? Who is this? Can I uh, butts, open the visor for me, please. So, the visor, like... <laughs> sh sh so, it's like, each part is really segmented, and it, like, one sh part shifts upward, and then both parts ship upward, and then, like, each part goes up. Oh, really so it's, like, it's, like the, it's like the fucking helmet from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Where it's like or Mass Effect. Or, not Mass Effect. Uh, Iron Man. Yeah. So it's yeah. like the segmented thing. It looks really badass, but it takes oh, yeah. a little while to do. And I was like, uh, hello, my name is uh, Colonel Mako Spur. I'm with the Archon Group. He's like, the Archon Grip? Group. Grip. grip. Yes, the Archon's Grip. He's like, what are mercenaries doing on the planet? This is a military channel. Exactly why I'm calling you. We've, uh, we've, we've taken over the military base and coordinates, blah, 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 blah. So he's like... What the fuck, over? Are you calling us to taunt us, Colonel? No, I'm calling you to say that, Are uh, you a dirty rebel scum, Colonel? Absolutely not. As soon as not. I get control, I'm, I'm, as soon as I get out of this forest, I'm calling high command. We're gonna blow up your base. Well, that that's why we're calling you. I mean, we're requesting backup, and, uh, you guys are free to take over the, uh, the base after we leave. We're simply here to deal with the rebel scum. He's over. Like, what rebel's over? The rebels that are currently taking over the planet, over. He's like, what the fuck? Over? Where have you been? Where have you been, over? He's like, we've been on maneuvers for the last week here in Red Rock Mountain. Forest. Well, that seems pretty silly, over. What do you mean? We're a cadet group. Why is it silly to go on maneuvers? Because you should be in the base. Colonel, clear this airwave. Can you get me in touch with high command, Colonel? Uh, sure, one second, and then then I, then I hear like I I get two rocks and I smash them together and like this is high command, Mister Mako, Colonel Mako, I know that's you. No, this is high command. My name is uh J J Jimmy Cr uh, Jefferson. Your name is Jimmy Cricket Jefferson. <laughs> Correct, Colonel. What's no, your name uh, there, Mister Cricket Jefferson? <laughs> Uh, I, ca I call him back. He does not God, answer. God, okay. God damn it, Mako. Can you patch <laughs> me through? It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blow up his radio line until he picks back up. You're like continually pinging him? Yep. He's just like, what the fuck, over? Mako, Colonel Mako, you son of a bitch. This is not fucking Colonel Mako. Watch what you're saying. We were sent here to take to reestablish this base. We have power back online. Turrets up. We would greatly appreciate you and your cadet group getting your happy asses back over here. Because we're going to need your help. So, he says... In the background, you can you? hear... You can hear Mega cracking two rocks together. <laughs> it's just like, clink, 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 clink. <laughs> Who the fuck he, am I is not important. He's like, it's pretty fucking important. You might be a rebel scum trying to leave me in a trap. Seems like your friend there is fucking lunatic. He's just fucking retarded. That's all there is to it. 
I am your commanding officer. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Mako. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to give him the admiral's name that sent us here. Admiral Grip. Admiral Grip. Grip. Yes. Admiral Grip of the Archon's Grip. He's like, oh, you're with the Archon's Grip. I understood then. Now, please. <laughs> well, unfortunately. I literally I told him that, but he didn't believe me. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. This is bullshit. I've had 35 years in the military. Why the fuck doesn't he believe me when I get on the radio? It's the I'll lack of authority. Answer itself. It's the it's the lack of authority in your voice. Uh, so he's like, "Well, unfortunately, we've got a bit of a problem here. Uh, there was a malfunction in our map unit. Military satellites over the area went offline. Yeah, they're down all over the planet." What were your last known coordinates? And he what are gives you last known traffic? coordinates. He's like, those coordinates are five, six days old. Okay, and what what has your heading been for the last five to six days? Uh, north. I'm punching all of this in the com. There, there's a bit of a problem, though. Uh, there's a reason they call this Red Rock Mountain Forest. Uh, pretty much every direction's north here. Yeah, compass doesn't work. We heard. What way is the sun setting, you fucking idiots? <laughs> He's like, well, it's a Red Rock Mountain forest. Climb a fucking tree. <laughs> so what I'm, what I'm fucking hearing is the cadets are fucking worthless. We don't have them. They're lost, yes. Uh, in order to get them back to the base... It's You're going to have... take more than a day. It's, it's No, it, it will only take a few hours. It's not that far away, but you'll have to make an instructor role in a navigation role or a navigation and survival role to go out there on foot or on a vehicle and go get them. We use our vehicle, right? So that's fucked up. <clears throat> if only you had a spare vehicle or... Or a caravan no... of Yeah, vehicles. if only you had like a caravan of vehicles. So what did you say? Navigation and uh, survival? Yes, that's if you want to go out and get them on your own. Or now, instructor and navigator. To I'm teach pretty them sure Jefferson has all of those skills. I, that, the problem is, is that Jefferson's already committed to getting the load lifter. That's right. So does that mean that... Um, and yes, Jefferson does have all those skills, just for the record. <laughs> Von at this, at this, no, I'm not. I, I am literally... You're the on, only person who's not committed right now. I'm on comms as I'm doing other shit. Because yeah, he, clearly they don't take you serious. Because clearly they don't fucking so take you serious. If, if I was to take... Um, Midsh Midshipman, give me five. I will call you back and update you on this. Over. He's like, okay, it's not like we're doing anything. Over. Not like our planet. Destroying itself with the rebellion. Yeah, over. the storm's trying, sort of to, trying to prevent. Like, I heard so, like, as he's company. hanging up in the background, you hear, like, a bunch of different young men all speaking up, and they're like, what the fuck, Chambers? Nah, it's more like, what the fuck, Chambers? <laughs> he's at 12. They're not, like, they're not 12. <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking cadets. They're, like, 17 and 18. All right. So, is there any way that we can get some of the people from the caravan to assist us with going to get the cadets? Sure. Probably a negotiation role. Some kind. I have leadership. Uh, yeah, leadership would probably work perfectly here. I also have tactics as well. That, that sounds exactly like what leadership is supposed to do. Exactly, yeah. All right, so I go up to the, um, the, what did you say his name was? The leader of the... Hirohito-san. Hirohito-san. I'm like, Hirohito-san, uh, I would like to get more people, uh, sorry, I gotta get into voice character. I would like to get more people into this base. Um, the problem is that we're unfamiliar with the territory and the land. Uh, we have a couple of... How many cadets were there? Like 30, 40 of them? There's a dozen. A dozen? There's a dozen cadets who have perfectly good eyesight, perfectly good aim that we need to bring down to this base. The problem is they're stuck up in the Red Mountains, which, as you probably know, is pretty terrible for navigation. 
It's I, like, ah, uh, yes, of course, Red Rock Mountain Forest. Exactly. I know it well. Uh, would, would you potentially want to help me lead a caravan out there to co collect these people and then potentially use them as body armor for you and your marines? So the whole time he's been stroking his beard, and on camera we just see dollar signs appearing in his eyes. He's like, these young men... They would need armor and weapons when they arrived here, yes? Absolutely, and they will potentially die, then you can reclaim the things that they purchased off you. He says, well, of course. Uh, hmm. talking about what is mine. Now, uh, I could go with you for a price. You're going we to would charge you, <laughs> let's see, he like starts pulling up a data pad, he'd be like, roaming charges plus gas costs. Use of an expert driver, navigator, mm, 500 credits. You stand to make a lot more when these people arrive, so either you take the 500 on the chest like a man, or you shut up and make no money. Make a persuade check. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is a negative one for make a... I believe it is, yes. What is the slide use? Skill what? Um, I'll let you charisma. pick either charisma or intelligence here, because you're already intelligence. Able to pretty. Yeah, but, but you know, I only have dexterity as a positive modifier in my guy, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the only one that got positive rolls, Jeff. So, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, in all the things but health. Six. All right, that's a pass. Bailey. That would be if it was at the easiest level, which it is. He says, oh, of course, fine. <clears throat> I do require the extra additional income more than I can spend yeah. on the 500 credits. I'll find some way to waive it as a... Uh... And then he's just like gestures to someone and they're like, mm, of course, boss son. Form 32J7. Boss he's like, son. of course. 32J7. Yes, we can write it off as attack expense. I turned to him like, why don't you just sell the uh, the laser weapons at a higher rate to make up the 500 credits instead? He's like, that sounds like an excellent plan. Um, you are not as fucking stupid as I originally had anticipated. See, the problem with what you assume that I am and what I actually am, I put on a facade pretty easily. And then it's I like walk away with that. facade is very, very convincing. <laughs> yeah, I walk away. His nephew in, in pops the... around the corner. He's like, "Yeah, dog." I say it's convincing as shit. But... I turn off the external mic to my to my suit, and I and I go to Butts, and I'm like, "Butts, have you ever loved a piece of material before?" Butts is, <laughs> Butts is like, "I'm sorry, Mako. I am incapable of feeling love. I am, after all, a synthetic intelligence." Can I teach? Yeah. You? Can I can I unbreak you? This is, I'm not an AI, although with significant monetary investment, you could upload me to an AI core. Hmm. <laughs> Kick out the fucking ghost, the the, the cipher on the ship. Put butts in there instead. <laughs> Boom. That's not how. Fire around in a butt. <laughs> that's not. You can't just be like, yeah, man. <laughs> here's an AI core that's already got an AI in it. Better just flush the core and then put something else in it. Yeah. That's not and how it works. <laughs> or does it? <laughs> that's, that's not how it works. Or does in the it? northern <laughs> sector of the space, that's how it works. <laughs> you have to handcraft each AI. Mm. All right, fair enough. Um, you have several million credits. Come back and we can talk about turning butts into an AI. And, and, and then I, I, I turn back to the guy and I'm like, you know, you should give me a percentage of that profit since I gave you those great ideas. He's just like stunned. He's like, uh. Like, everyone in the merchant caravans heard you say, like, you should give me a percentage. And they're all like, Here, Hito-san. I have no idea what he would say, man. 1% <laughs> of what you choose to make today. Oh, he's like, oh, 1%, of course. Yes, yes. Of course. Yes. 1% is pretty reasonable. Very well. And then I... Uh, and then he's uh, like... He gestures to someone. He's like, figure a way out to write off his 1%. And he's like, boss on. Call it a finder's fee. He's like, ah, oh, yes, of course, finder's fee. 
<laughs> the tax I love that his Simon name is so Boss favorable. Son. Yep. All right, shall we move out and get these stupid fucking recruits that get lost in a forest? Okay. Are you yeah. taking the... Oh, they're taking the vehicle. That's right. Yeah. I have to roll for them then. <laughs> oh, I can drive if they want me to. Uh, no, it's not the driving part. It's the navigation and survival rolls that have to be made. Sure, yeah. Okay, so they navigate at a... The issue is their survival. Well, they fucking hey. nail it. So in four hours, you guys come back. Uh, you've got a, a dozen surly uh, young male cadets. They all seem so, pretty upset with Chambers. So here's, here's basically what happens when we arrive at where they are. The buses load up. And it's like big dust storm or whatever from just driving around. Yep. And then like slow motion step out. The camera zooms in on my feet. Leap in the thing, yeah, and they uh, and I dun, walk dun, out. Dun, and I'm just dun, like, dun. I'm like walking slow <laughs> in my power armor, and they're just like, "Oh my god, that's amazing! That guy is so cool!" And then I flip my head visor up, and, it's, and then I was like, "It's no, no, it's literally hello. like the scene from uh, Forward Unto Dawn, the Halo yeah. live action movie when Master Chief shows up, and everyone's like, "Holy fuck!" Yeah, and then I, I get out and like, my name is Ma Colonel Michael Spur. I believe you called me an idiot. I'm here to rescue you stupid asses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hang on. Do, do our comms reach this far? <laughs> um, if you're still hooked into the radio, yes. Let's say that they are for the yeah, sake. Yeah, you haven't depowered so, the yes. barracks yet, so yes. No. Fucking right, Mako. Fucking right. <laughs> so Chambers is like, um... Yeah, okay, well, let's get in those vehicles and ride to your military base. Uh, I have a question for you. Who's the next in command? <laughs> he looks really <laughs> nervous when you say that. And he's like, no one answer. No one answer that fucking question. The first person to answer correctly is now in charge. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's looking pretty nervous. And like one guy is about to step forward. And yeah. another person like puts their hand on the chest. You could see that the guy who stepped forward, his uh, armor plate is stenciled in like, uh, um, I need a new name. Fuck. Schlotsky. There we go. Schlotsky. Schlotsky. Right. Schlotsky? Yeah. And then he, like somebody else pushes Schlotsky back and Schlotsky's like, what the fuck, man? I woke up to the guy that pushed him back and I'm like, soldier, what is your name? Oh, fuck. Really? You want to come <laughs> up with another name? Smitty. Okay. Smitty. All right. Yeah. His name, his name is Smitty. He's it's like, like, Smitty, sir! Why did you stop this uh, cadet from coming oh, forward? No. Sir, you're not in our chain of command. You... We're not going to frag the commander here as much as we'd like to. You don't have to <laughs> frag him. All we have to do is make sure that he doesn't send you gentlemen into death. If you follow me, you will live. As you can see, I am... Oh my man. god! Look at you starting a fucking <laughs> mutiny. Yeah, I think Chambers says exactly that. Chambers is like, what the fuck, Colonel? This is mutiny, what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I see it as this. I mean, you're welcome to stay here in this forest where you oh, got man. lost. And I can take all of your troops oh, with my me. Oh, God. Or you can secede your leadership to this gentleman here. There's a lot of hands going towards guns right now. A lot of, a lot of angry, upset, lost cadets moving toward trigger fingers. Like, half of them are eyeing Chambers, and the other half are eyeing you. Make a leadership roll. If Absolutely. you fail, this is oh, going to no. turn into a gun. Oh, fight. no. What type of guns do they have, Arthur? Oh, they, no. They have the TL3 guns. They do not have LAS rifles. They've got, like, combat rifles. Oh, I uh, failed. Wait, what does leadership take? Uh, charisma. Okay. Oh, I failed that. Well, I can tell you it's not going to take dexterity. Yeah. <laughs> you teach them how to join your party with agile dancing. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, you didn't fail horribly, but no. they do not, like, uh, Chambers gets control of the situation back. He, he's like, everyone shut the fuck up. I'm in charge here. This civilian, he's working with a mercenary group. And, like, he's looking at your armor. He's like, you're not from the Archon Grip. You're from the Archon Group. No shit, that's what I told you. You said you're with the Archon's Grip. Yeah. 
Are you I come fucking out of, deaf and stupid as well? I come out the the mace uh, the mess hall and say, "Hey, food's ready if y'all hungry." They're like, they are, they are, are, are you there. radioing that? I just say that to them like, as I walk out. Food's they're, ready. They're not there. They're still in the red rock. Well, <laughs> ah, doctor slash chef. Oh, brother, dark side, cooking all of the meals. So either you can sit here and starve in the forest like a bunch of idiots. Chambers is just like, listen, Colonel. He like literally puts his hand on your face. And pushes past you. He does the Assassin's Creed to you. He touches my face place and he's like, oh man, that feels so cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's so silky smooth. Yeah, it's like, but it's so metallic. <laughs> and then he's like, listen up. I'm in charge here. I'm commandeering this vehicle. He's like, Hirohito Namakawa, whatever your name is there, Jap guy. And the guy's like, my name is Hirohito. <laughs> And he's like, we're taking this vehicle, we're taking over the base. And everyone's like, yeah, we're taking the base. And they start piling in, and Hirohito's like, uh, Mako Gungeon, that did not go as you planned. <laughs> yeah, well, 12-year-olds are pretty hard to convince sometimes. I guess this is what we get for sending Mako. Yeah, so they get back to the base, and immediately, like, set upon devouring that mess hall. Yeah, yeah like, I, so I, I like the idea that Chambers is, like, about to take control of the base from you guys, and then all of his men are like, oh, free food, and it's warm, and showers, the barracks is online, everybody fucks off. All right, I walk up to Chambers, and I'm like, you know, you're going to have to purchase weapons from us, right? He's, he's like, we're not going to have to purchase any weapons. We've got, and then he, like, he lifts his lab, or uh, his uh, assault rifle, and he's got, like, two magazines. <laughs> he's like, we got enough to defend ourselves with. Do you know what's coming here? He's like, um... No. I put my hand on his shoulder and I was like, you're probably safer in the forest. And then I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, quietly, nice. when, you're, when you're out of range, she's like, then why did you bring us here, asshole? <laughs> yeah. He, he, he'll work it out shoot. eventually. He'll work it out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I need to make a roll for Chambers, making a negotiation roll with the merchants. Uh, he does okay, actually. I guess he doesn't sell the farm off, but yeah, he. So, uh, by the time the four hours has ended, everybody's work's done. All yeah. of Chambers' men have like the cheap, like shitty version of the advanced armor that was here. And half of them have LAS rifles with training rounds. And now, how much is 1% of those purchases, Arthur? Uh, interesting question. We'll figure that out at the end. <laughs> you know what? We'll figure that out in email. Yeah. How about that? Cool. Yay. Oh, I, I want okay. my cut of the, that 1%. Let me oh, make yeah, no, a note goes, to myself. Go long. straight back into the Archon's group, man. How many of the uh, salesmen are there? Probably 20. Okay. Um, how much time do we have left? Um, can you guys go to another 45 minutes? No, I mean in, the, in before the people arrive. You have no idea. Did, did anyone think to ask? Mm. No. Nope. I, guess, I guess we just get set up and wait. I mean, like, if I have time to train the, the merchants, I will. That's what I'll spend the So can you guys go for another 45 minutes of the show? Oh, yeah, yeah. man. I can go. Yeah. Okay, so you bought 12 combat armors, That's fine. 6 LAS rifles, and ammo. A out 1% to Mako. Okay, made that note to myself. Boom. Probably not going to be a lot. Getting shit done. It's like 30 credits. <laughs> That's drinking money, so it's a good day. That's right. Alright, so... I'm guessing someone at some point when when Mako mentions how long until they get there, does anyone think to check? Uh, nope. Do we have a way to check? Yes. Okay, yeah. I mean, you could, like, call somebody and ask. You have a plan. Could we do, like, know. a sonar sweep or something of the area? Yes, if you had sonar, which you don't. 
Yeah, um, what, hang on. Uh, so but, what other... A sonar sweep of the area, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do a sonar sweep, you literally just scream and wait to hear when the scream comes back. What did you pick up? How many, how many bad guys? <laughs> I assume you mean like a sensor sweep or something. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. sensors do we have on the base? None. None? None. It Just... looks like there used to be sensors mounted on top of the barracks, but they're gone now. Hmm. I'm <laughs> dialing 111, 1111, 111119. Okay. <laughs> hey, how's it going? We got all the stuff. The pilot's just yeah. like, uh, who's on this line over? Secure military frequency. The guy who signed out your survival kit. He's like, oh, yeah, motherfucker, what's up? <laughs> hey, you guys are still alive? Yeah, we're still alive. Uh, where are like, you at? You've got, like, a hundred dudes coming your way. What's their ETA on the base? That's weird. They'll be there in about four hours. In about four hours? That's plenty of time. He's like, yeah, you better watch it. Looks like they got a helicopter with them. Damn Can it. You do can you do me a favor and ring me back uh, when we are uh, when they're thirty minutes out? Like, Send sure. me a text or something. <laughs> hey, just remember, if you don't hold the line here, the whole capital city is definitely going to fall. No pressure or anything. Yeah, if we don't hold the line here, we're dead anyways. So it's kind of incentive based. He's like, "All right, I salute you, sir." And then, like, we cut to the pilot. He's like. He's, his shuttle is, like, hiding in an asteroid belt, and he's drinking in his underwear <laughs> right now. He's got, like, his feet up on the fucking dashboard yeah, or something of like that. <laughs> right, right now, I'm just seeing Wash, except instead of dinosaurs, he's got two beer bottles he's playing yeah, with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's basically Wash. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to relay. We have four hours, so we can do a little bit more. Perfect. I'm going to train the fuck out of those merchants. Okay, do you have Instructor? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, you can roll Instructor at a minus one, and it's charisma. All right. All right, so, so minus, minus two? Minus two, yeah. Um, you know, maybe I should try and uh, do some of this, because that would make me at a net zero. Are you gonna, are you gonna do Instructor? I don't know. Ah, uh, shit, what else can we do? I mean, we can power down the barracks, because we don't need the... How we do need the radio. Yeah, power down the barracks and well, um. He's call back at the thirty-minute mark. What was that? So if he's going to call back at the thirty-minute mark. Hmm. Well, I mean, you can you can jerry rig uh, the. Uh, Arthur, does my um suit have any sort of extended comms or anything like that in there? No, it would be hooked up to satellites. Okay. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. you you are hooked into like. The planetary cell phone network, probably. Mm. So you could use your smartphone, but you can't like call out to a space station. Or yeah, ship. cool. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Um, so I'm gonna do a um, a uh, a roll here for the teaching of people. Okay. Make your instructor roll. Yeah. Uh, one of the the merchants actually shoots another one. Why'd you do that? Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I guess I need to go assist him. Oh, wait a minute. He shot him? Yes. Can I you, come can out. You make a tech medical like you're running out there. Okay, I drag uh, him, drag him, bring him to the thing and bring your supplies like we agreed. Jefferson, uh, right before or right after we get our radio mm -hmm. contact, can you work on bringing the other turret online? <clears throat> so I was waiting patiently while they will make her do his thing. But what Jefferson's going to do in the four hours of <clears throat> remaining time is see if I can't overclock, for lack of a better term, the power supply to try and get more of those turrets online. Interesting. Uh, let's get Dom's roll here. You get a plus one from the med kit they give you and a plus one from a working med bay. So plus five then? I have a plus four right now. Oh, so you well, get an extra well. one from the med kit, right? Oh, where well, everything is like... Oh, okay. okay. Well, you need a six to keep this guy from dying. So you need to roll a two. <laughs> yeah. Holy and, fuck. <laughs> and you I say to you, you don't even like you just doctor house this guy. You immediately diagnose what's wrong. You're like, yeah, bullet went in here, popped it out. It just he's perfectly fine. And I say, <laughs> this is why you should put the medical stuff in here. This could go faster. Uh, 
don't you make a persuasion roll real quick? Yeah, man, okay. make a persuasion roll. I'm actually not at a negative for that. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Hey. Dang! All right, yeah, you got exactly what you needed. They agree, like, Hirohito-san is like, fine, whatever. We will give you our medical supplies. Just well, I don't make know. Make sure you guys... we get back anything we don't use. You okay. guys are, like, shooting yourselves in the foot here. I mean, like... And this one's to make sure the supply is not used. Uh, it's fine. As long Hirohito-san as I don't look through is like, Mako, you literally told that guy to... <laughs> to shoot the <laughs> other guy. He was like, while you were training him... You literally told him to always keep the safety off because this is his trigger finger. This is his safety. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, like, holding my gun with, like, <laughs> with stuff. Like, you just, you, like, if you don't shoot anyone with the trigger, you don't kill anyone with the gun. He steps back. He's just like, yes, I can see why there are some casualties in training so far. I shout out to Mako. Thanks for making the example. As I it's like, Shot one has to, to make put an the strike them to put. Hey, put that there. This there. This there. Uh, I like. I, I, like. Here's what I oh do. Oh yeah. I can drop, I use I my, my four hour? Can I use my four hours <laughs> to reinforce the uh, medical bay? Reinforce the medical bay. Sure. I don't okay. think you'll need anything for that. I assume you're just like, I don't know, pushing stuff up against walls. And why don't yeah. you tell me how you're doing it? I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, you know where windows are? Yeah. Pretty much, I'm putting uh, shelves in front of it. Okay. For it won't yeah. be an easy interest. Yeah, I mean, it's already a military medical bay. But yeah. You reinforce the... Uh, you know what? You reinforce the whole barracks, basically. Yeah, like, and I... Uh, prepare the barracks for invasion. And I have my shotgun and uh, yeah. machine rifle ready. Yeah. Alright, Jefferson, you wanted to overclock the power station. Yeah. Okay. This is what's going to happen. You need to make a 10 or better to overclock the power station, and if you get less than a 7, you're going to blow out one of the power cells. And I'm making a tech post-tech to do this? Yep. You good Plus with this int? roll? Plus int? Yep. Yeah. Watch the whole power... Roll snake eyes. The power station blows up, killing you. <laughs> I'm an expert, so at least I get a reroll on this. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, you overclock the power station. The but power I'm station. Jefferson Thorne, and yeah. I'm awesome. <laughs> so, so for those at home, you literally can see that on the mission outline, I had power level four unattainable. It's now been attained. <laughs> the can power we... station is like at full capacity now. How could it be at full capacity? It would be have to be five to power all four guns and the barracks. Um. So the guns are supposed to be powered by like individually powered things. He ever clocked that shit, man? He can run like four games at once now on that thing. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm having a lot of fun, Arthur. You're a great man. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to attempt to rectify the training situation in the courtyard. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so just to be clear, each of these guns is supposed to be hooked up to the planetary power grid, which is currently down because the capital city's on fire. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, which, okay. <laughs> you see Mako literally out there like, this is how you use a rifle, man. He pointed at the enemy, and he, like he's pointing his guns at people, and like point. No, wait, I got it. He's teaching them to shoot assault rifles by pointing them at him because his suit is immune to tech level three, and so he's like, "Yeah, just just shoot me." And then he's like, "Now do training with," and people are like accidentally shooting at each other because the only training they've gotten is shoot at Mako. I'm just gonna press enter and pray that it's better than whatever I need. <laughs> you got a one as well. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, the, the you managed to no unfuck the system right now. It's kind of fitting that Mako. The is person the with no wrong. combat training at all. Now, you literally walk up and you're like, don't shoot each other. And then you walk away. And then it's like, oh, oh! <laughs> only shoot. No, no, no. I walk up and I'm like, only shoot enemies, not each other. 
And so then all, all of them are like Japanese, and they start nodding. They're like, ah, oh, yes, of course. Only shoot enemies, not each other. And then they look at each other, and they're like, this guy is a fucking... So they say it in Spanish, but we get subtitles about him. And they're like, this guy's a fucking moron. <laughs> and, and then, like, another guy is like, you know, we did accidentally shoot that one guy. He's like, that's your fucking fault. <laughs> And of honor, like, if you let me finish my six-hour lecture, I would have got to that point eventually. <laughs> Shut up, Mako. <laughs> God damn. <Okay. laughs> Hang on. Please tell me it was Chambers who got shot. Yeah, of course. Yes. One of his own men ac- accidentally fragged him, of course. Friendly yep. fire. It's always the it's fucking always the noobs shit. with the fucking flamethrowers. Yeah, so Schlotsky is like uh, Colonel uh, Mako, is it? You mean yeah. Schmitty? Yeah, it is. No, no, Schmitty is the guy that held Schlotsky back. Schlotsky. 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 Welcome Schlotsky. to the promotion. He's like, uh, Colonel, we're going to need some orders. Well, it's pretty simple. See that gate over there? And I point to the gate. They're going to come in through the gate. You just stop them from coming in through the gate by hang, shooting them. Hang on. Oh, did you fall asleep? No, me? Yeah. No, I'm awake. Someone in chat was saying you were asleep. I was, <laughs> over, I was like, oh, shit, he might actually be asleep. So, hang on. I'm just or- enjoying this too much to say anything. Oh, of course. Why not? So, so, orders. We do have walls around the complex now, right? Yes, you have two units of walls out of three. Where is the missing wall section? It's not that there's so much a missing wall section. It's just that it's the just walls an, are like... Unreinforced? They, yeah. Okay, where is the unreinforced section? All over the place. So, each unit of wall is like scrap metal that's like reinforcing some place where there's like bullet holes through it or a cannon shell. Okay. Um... There's no particular place where it's like, oh no, they'll come in here. Well, obviously the gate. That's about it. Yeah. There's no section of wall that's like falling down and someone's just going to walk through it. Okay, then I would suggest not just pointing them at the gate, but putting them on the walls. No, I'll, I'll spread them out, especially around the area where we don't have a gun. Yeah, okay. like the backside. Yeah, um, I take. I find the person in the cadet squad who's also got the best aim, Arthur. Oh, wait a minute. Can I do one quick thing? Yes. Oh, um, I go to the cadet squad and ask which one is their fail medic. They don't have one. They don't have one? Okay, uh, I throw some turns at them. Anybody recognize these turns? No. Medical terms? Darn it. Yep. Okay, uh, who's the best at counting and holding stuff? Hey, Sai. Holding <laughs> stuff. Hey, uh, Sai. I, I do have medic as well. Well, you're probably going to be in the battlefield, so I just want someone to assist me I have, just in case. I have so, no combat No, no, skills. I got this. I'm hiding. There is a cadet, and they're like, well, Hansy over there is pretty good at holding stuff. And Hansy's like, yeah, I like holding <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, and I just go to the merchants. It's like, anybody know these terms? I start saying medical yeah, terms. Yeah, I, I think actually the count... No, no, oh, the it, count. It, <laughs> the count has basic tech medical training. It can assist you. That's the guy that like tech medical of zero. Is that that's the guy? That's a guy program butts, man. He's a man. Yeah, tech count. The count is this guy. He's like, oh, oh that yeah, guy. Yeah, I'm what's like, up, Benzay? so he's <laughs> ethnically Japanese, but he talks like he's a homeboy. Son, I'm gonna need your help because I think. Yeah, what else? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hack nothing out here. The whole network's down, you know. Can you hack dead bodies? Pay no attention Damn. to him. <laughs> now, that I was, like the idea cause... of Mako just like showing up and like the cadets are still shooting at him. Yeah, there's like bouncing like, standing up. In the way. <laughs> like bullets are flying all over the place. <laughs> no, they're probably hitting him in the power armor and doing nothing to of him. Of course, but then the bullets deflect off. Oh, yeah. So he like walks over to have this conversation. And there's like a hail of bullets going around him, and, and like uh, the count is like hiding behind a barrel. He's like, "What the fuck?" Um. So I'm gonna find the guy with the best aim, like the one who's been hitting me the most. Ah, uh, yes, of course. They they call him Eagle Eye Jenkins. Eagle Eye Jenkins. Nice. Uh, Eagle Eye Jenkins. Do you see that gun over there? The one that's not powered up. Like, yep. 
That one, I see it, sir. I want you to sit on it, and I want you to shoot motherfuckers. Can you uh, do that? He's like, of course, sir, I'll use this here LAS rifle. It's got pretty decent range. I no, I mean, I... I need you to sit on the giant gun and shoot people. Yeah, of course. Oh, sir, without power, it's not going to deploy. I thought you said, Arthur, that you can manually fire the guns. Yes, you can, but the guns are sealed in, like, their container. You need to power it up so, like, it unfolds, the gun comes Can't we out. use, like, a power a power thing to just unfold it and not, like, automate it? Like, um, a, like a battery or something yeah, like that? Yeah, sure. A power okay. supply? Yeah, a power supply. Yeah, so he gets up there and he's like, Sir, I don't have any training using a weapon of this caliber. Well, it's the same he looks, he like rifle. looks at the barrel, and the barrel is larger than his forearm. Well, don't stick your arm in there. That's fucking retarded. What are you doing? Oh, like, Sir, my arm is not in there. I'm, I'm demonstrating how large the barrel is. I... Oh, fuck. Well, how hard is it to sit on the fucking seat over there and pull the trigger? It's like, all right, sir. I'll do what you say. Thank you. Okay. You're a good man. Him. Just I don't like get that. the face. I hit the merchant up. Any one of y'all are good at cleaning... So I just, I just want You're to point out. You're asking a dozen young men in the military if they're good at cleaning. They're I'm, I'm talking. Like, I'm, I'm talking to the merchants. Oh, the time. merchants? Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna say yes to that. Cleaning blood. And they're even less inclined to say yes now. And I'm just like, come here, you person with the backwear hat and mohawk. You're my only friend. That's not true. I love you. <laughs> As he bullets bounce off him. Ding, 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 ding. Leroy Make Eagle Eye Jenkins. <laughs> His name is Leroy now. <laughs> Leroy <laughs> Eagle Eye Jenkins. You, you're, like forget, you're forgetting. I, I, I play we WoW. I discover that by someone being like, all right, Leroy, get up there and shoot him. And Leroy's like, all right. And we see his arm. Leroy! And then he has... <laughs> and he runs up 